Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I want to show you how you can add tile map collisions inside of Godot 4. Like you can see here, I can't walk into the water. So when you're creating objects that you individually add to your game, you can just use static bodies and collision shapes. But of course that's going to be a bit different than doing it for a tile map. So when you have a tile map object inside of your scene, you need to attach a tile set to that tile map so that you can actually start drawing onto the screen. So under tile set, you should see a section in this blue box called physics layers. If you don't see that, then just click on the tile set after you've created one normally, and then it should be able to expand like this. So under physics layers, you're able to add an element. So that will create a physics layer, which is a set of collision layer choices in a set of collision masks that you would use for collisions inside of your game. So by default, a character like a player with a character body 2D in Godot 4 is going to be able to collide on layer mask one and look to layer mask one to check for collisions where it would stop the player's movement. So that's the default layer for collisions. So if you want your player to be stopped by a collision, then the layer mask here needs to match the collision layer on your tile sets physics layer. Now you can create multiple layers and you can assign each layer to each individual tile that you have on your tile set. So with this selected down here at the bottom of the screen, there should be a tab for tile set. If you click on that, we can go ahead and expand this. And what you're able to do for each tile in your tile map is to go to the selection mode here. So now if you go down to physics, physics layer zero, then you can set which part of the selected tile is going to match physics layer zero, as in which part of the tile should have the collision layer and collision masks set up with your physics layer zero, which is going to be the first one in this list here. So to add it to a tile, you would just use selection mode and then left click on a tile while you have this physics layer zero selected. Then if you want to add a perfect square collider to this tile, you can click on the three dots here and do reset to default tile shape. So that's actually going to add the four corners here to make physics layer zero appear everywhere in this square. Now that's probably not what you want for this particular tile. So any tile that you want to remove one from, you can simply select the physics layer, then click down here and clear to remove it. So if I click over here to this water tile, you'll see that it already has the physics layer zero added. And that's why when the player was able to walk over here, that it would stop it from moving. Now, another case where we would probably want the player to stop would be down here at the edge of this tile. So the black area should be walkable, but the area over here is more like the cliff. So that should be prevented from being walkable. So I'm going to go down here to where I have those tiles. I'm going to left click on them and then let's actually set up some tile shapes. So I'll click on this add button to start drawing the corners. I'll click one over here, one over here, one down here and one here, and then connect it back to the first one. Bring it just a little bit down here so that it kind of matches our border there. And you probably do want um, the snapping turned on to get a better shape. So let's click on this one over here to the left. You can see the shape from physics layer zero on the right tile. So we just want to match that over here. So I'm going to click add and I'm going to add the four corners. I can adjust them later as long as I get them connected. So now I can left click on the corner, which is a little bit off and pull that in and this one down, making sure that they align as a rectangle shape. So let's do the third one over here. I'm going to click on add. So I'm going to left click manually add that corner, this corner over here, right here, and then back to the center, adjust the exact positions on them until they match what we would expect. So we can see how the collider carries perfectly from one tile to the next. That's what we're going to want. And now any tile map that's using this tile set and those particular tiles is going to block our character here. So let's go ahead and hit play and test that. Make sure it's actually working like that. I'm going to walk down here and the player should stop right here now. And as you can see, I can't walk all the way down to the bottom of that pattern. My character gets stuck here. And uh, from there, it would just be a matter of slightly adjusting either the physics shape or the collider on my player to get it to stop at the right moment in time. And we can see I can still walk all the way over here to the edge on this tile because there's no collision shape on these tiles. So to quickly recap, create your tile set as normal and then 
Come down here to physics layer for that tile set. Add a physics layer. Make sure that the collision layer matches the collision mask of the player or other object you want to be stopped by the collision. Then go over to the tile set tab. Click on the tile you want to add a physics layer for. Come down here to where it says physics layer and add one in. You can do reset to tile default shape if you just want it to match all four corners perfectly for the tile. Or you can clear that and then you can manually add it in for whatever shape you want. And then this will be the space that will stop your player from moving. And you can always clear that if you don't like it. So that in a nutshell is pretty much how you can do tile map collisions inside of Godot 4. I've been Chris. Thanks for watching to the end and I will see all of you in my future video content.